continuing our conversation about networking and not working, let's talk about another thing that's going to go on in your, your estimation of why you're going to where you're going. And that is who is your ideal customer? Who is your ideal client? That is going to determine where you network. So again, so your networking doesn't become not working. It puts money in your pocket. It builds your business and builds your brand. You want to be sure that you're where your major client is hanging out. Now, my clients are right now women. I want to work with women exclusively. And I want to work with women in a certain way. I want to work with women who are looking at building businesses, are in business and they're struggling. So I have a very clear picture of the woman that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a woman who's slightly more mature because I thought they would relate to me better, but also because they're probably at a point in their lives where they've tried certain things and now they know they don't work and they're looking for solutions. So there are a couple of very specific things that I'm looking for. When you go into an environment knowing who you're looking for, it's a very different experience because you will find that person. I want to give you what sounds like a silly um, example of that, but I had a friend who started following a guru and that guru um, had their people only wearing orange or a variation of orange. So I went shopping with her and guess what? All we were looking for was orange. It made it very easy. We weren't looking at the pinks. We weren't looking at the greens. We weren't looking at the blues. We were just looking for things in orange. And it changes your perception of what you're looking for and how you're going to be searching for that if you know exactly who you're looking for. So make sure that you identify your client. A couple of, um, of rules that I say for everybody, make sure your clients can afford your services. Make sure your clients are the type of people who are looking for the solutions that you have. In other words, they have the problem for which you are the solution. And just make sure that, that you like working with those people. Um, I know that there are a lot of people who, who define their, their uh, ideal client in a way that makes it very difficult for them to find those people because they're not specific enough. So make it specific, make it defined by an age. It can be demographics. It can be de defined by the problem that they have. It could be uh, mothers at home with small children, or it can be mothers at work who have teenagers. Those are two very, they're both mothers, but they have two different um, category of person with different needs. So happy networking, not working. And I'll be back with some more information next week.